Oh, hey. Hi. Yeah. Um. Listen, I I know what you're gonna say, okay? I know what you're gonna say, and it's gonna be something like, Ryan, you've been gone for like, yeah, five months now. And it's like, I know, I know, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, you know, life happens, and you know, in my case, it just happened to be, uh, Two AP classes and three AP tests to prepare for. But I will say, you know what life is never gonna make me stop doing? That's right, baby. Minecraft. Let's talk about that. Oh, hello again. It's me again. Wow. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to do every intro like this where it's just a gamble of whether I'm actually gonna be here or not. No one knows. No one knows with me. I am sneaky. I'm sneaky, I'm sneaky, and I'm scraggly. We're back playing Minecraft again, which, ah, shock horror. I bet none of you expected that. This, this time, I'm actually gonna be back. It's not just a fake promise. Again, I'm sorry for all of those fake promises. As I said in my beautiful intro, life got in the way. One of my AP tests was AP Macroeconomics, which is a subject that I have not since fourth quarter of a sophomore year. So, you know, we're all we're all doing great here in the household of Ryan Neal. I have my NASA cup, you know, right here filled with Diet Coke as usual. I don't know what else you would expect from me. And it's there to remind me of the, uh, of the failure that I am because when I was a freshman, in high school or like eighth grade going into freshman year um i wanted fully to be an astrophysicist that is not a lie that was my goal <laughs> man i wonder what 15 year old uh ryan would say to me if i just <laughs> if i was able to find them now and go hey guess what you are a film major i think Honestly, I think that they might be very disappointed in me. So I planned on going to MIT and then getting a doctorate in astrophysics and then going to work at NASA. Um, so that's changed- that plan, that's changed a lot. Basically, what's different about that plan is essentially all of it. I am 100% not majoring in physics or astrophysics, although physics was 100% my favorite science class that I took in high school. I took that last year. Um, fantastic class. Even better teacher. I am in fact majoring in communication arts, the film radio television branch, and my plans are not to work um, as an astrophysicist at NASA, nor go to MIT to get any sort of postgraduate degree. Nuh-uh. My, my postgraduate goals are to please, dear God, let me uh, make some kind of living off of making things. Thankfully, I have written a book that I do want to get to a publisher, which um, would be very fun. I've always enjoyed writing. But in all honesty, this, this being YouTube, seems like a pretty cool job um and i've always enjoyed i've okay i need to rant about this real quick i was ryan's toy review before he was cool he stole that idea from me i have a parasocial relationship with the kid from ryan's toy reviews i 100 percent do because that kid stole my bit that kid stole my thunder before i even had the chance to make it into thunder so when i was like four years old i used to make toy reviews because i thought it was fun and i liked making videos even back then i begged my parents to let me upload them to youtube yes as a four-year-old and of course my parents were like no what the heck you're four um, we're not putting your face on YouTube and making you famous um, as a four-year-old because that's just we don't want to do that to you because that could end up in some like very bad long-term problems and I got really mad about it. You know, I was eventually like, okay, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't I don't care that much. I care a lot. A few years pass and I like actually get on to like the YouTube scene and stuff and I actually start watching content creators a lot. Um, Imagine my shock when I realized that there was some famous kid 
named Ryan, who was doing toy reviews at like the age of six. I could have had that opportunity. I could have been Ryan. And the only thing stopping me was my parents' stupid regard for my safety as a four-year-old child. Hey, listen, if I ever get to a thousand subscribers, I will go back. I'll find those videos. I'll find those videos of me being Ryan's toy reviewed back. Because I know that there are some of you out there that 100% do not believe me. I can guarantee you that I am older than that Ryan kid, that little brat. So I definitely came first. I could have been making millions at the age of like four. Just because some child beat me to posting them. I'm mad. Listen, Ryan, hit me up. I want to make a toy review battle with you. We can do a we can do a tier list together. I think that that would be really funny. Hit me up. I don't even know what that kid is doing now. Also, I am just so not equipped for going into the caves, but I just need to because if I don't, then I won't get any iron, and I kind of need that to survive. Dude, I have a band-aid on my right hand, and it is so annoying because it's like right where my hand rests on my computer and yes right hand resting on my computer i don't know if you were here for i think it was episode two where i explained that i in fact do not have a mouse pad and still do not because i still haven't invested in one and i still just rest my mouse on the corner of my laptop because i don't have a mouse pad and the mouse works better on the corner of the laptop than it does on any other part no, but the band-aid that I got. We were on a quiet. We were on a tour for our, our varsity choir, um, and chamber choir, and show choir. I'm not in show choir, although I wish I was. And we spent like two hours for lunch just at a park. And you know, it was a playground. And you put high school seniors in a playground, you get pictures like this. Um, but this one kid was just like climbing every single tree, and he was doing really good. And I'm like, he's not that much taller than me. I bet I could do it. And so I, I kind of did. I didn't do a good as job as he did because he's taller than me, unfortunately. Bro's got the reach advantage. You know, I hopped down from the tree eventually, and oh, look! Would you look at that? Um, I have a hole in my hand. Completely scraped up my uh, my arm there, and I'm like, oh wow, man! I got nerfed by a tree. Toad! Oh my gosh! Wait, this is the first time I've seen one of them. That's the first time I've seen a toad in this game, bro. Those guys got hops. Do they? Do they drop anything? Uh, toads, toads don't drop anything. I don't know why I thought uh, they did, but they do not. Ah, hello, I've come to rob you of your resources, because I am America. Please. Well, I don't have iron leggings, and so that I see as a win. Take that back, though. Apple, apple, who's got the apple? I got the iron pickaxe. And I didn't shut the door on myself twice. I would never do such a thing. Oh, there's one of you. Okay, I have to be really careful about this. Um, but that's a mistake. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. No, no, no. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. You may think I'm stupid. I'm not. I'm not gonna let this guy... Um... See, I'm so smart. See, I'm really good at this game. Oh, hey, I got a crit in. No way. Okay. Alright. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get something. I gotta get something very important. Give me that. I proceed to rob this village blind of all of its resources, even at one point saying, Don't worry, it's only minor terrorism. So, as you can see, I'm only a person of the highest character, who has the most mercy for all of those who I encounter. Dude, I'm gonna go down here, see if I can find any more iron. That's a lot of skeletons. Oh, there's iron. Okay, swag. And it's starting to get night. Are you kidding me? Are you actually- you have to be- you have to be genuinely joking with me right now. Honestly, I might relocate here um, and just completely forget that the other place even existed. Um, what did I have that was important there anyway? Nothing? Nothing. Probably nothing. Unless- did I have diamonds there? I 
I genuinely don't remember. I'm gonna keep that up just in case of emergencies because I saw some guys over there. I saw some fellas, some supernatural mobs. If anyone knows that song, you're probably about as old as I am. Man, that was a banger, dude. Genuinely, that was a good song. Dude, if you didn't listen to supernatural mobs as a kid, are you kidding? That was such a good song. Like, it was well produced, it was well animated. Oh, I remember when I was a kid, I found this one video and it was of 500 Minecraft parodies. And I watched that video so many times. I watched it over and over and over again. It was like my favorite thing on YouTube. However, unfortunately, I think it got taken down because of copyright claims. Um, so like one day I went to go like listen to my music and it was, it was gone. I was, I was heartbroken. I mean, I basically have all my stuff. I might as well just forget that the other place even existed. It, yeah, abduction is fine in Minecraft, not in real life. FBI, <laughs> don't worry. I am not a threat yet. Bro, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ow, ow, okay, genuinely? Okay, okay. I forget the things hurt when uh, it's not enchanted. All right, well, so that's why Philza said don't go in ravines. That could be a good staircase. I see a staircase in this spot's future. Oh, come on, guys. Not having a bow has really affected me negatively in this scenario. No one cares. No one cares. You don't have to live under the staircase. You could have moved. You have a whole cave system to yourself, and yet you moved under my staircase. Well, buddy, I'll have you know that no one moves into my staircase without my permission, and no one will blow up under my staircase without my permission. I hope you got that down, buddy, old boy, pal. I proceed to do an excellent job of clearing out mobs, and by excellent, I mean very overly cautious and very bad. Just walk forward. There we go. And... Problem takes care of itself. Or not. I can sit here all day, man. As you can see, I am an excellent and very professional Minecraft player who has been doing it for a long time. First of all, we need to find a place to settle. That's just dark, but I think that it could work. I'm not silly. I am silly, actually. I am silly and goofy. I'm just saying words. Nothing is making sense anymore. What even is language? I'm learning six. They're, they're all silly. The most stupid, in fact, is, is Irish, which is... Funny enough, that's language I've been learning since I was like, since I was the same age I was making toy reviews. Yet it is still the most confusing language. Like, I'm pretty good at Spanish. Obviously I'm not fluent. I wish I were, but I'm not. I then begin doing something actually productive by building my new home before I am oh so rudely interrupted. Is, uh... No, no, I can't. Not now. I I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hey, look at me. I don't know if I said it before. It's not worth it. I'm not killing you. I'm not picking up that banner. I'm not picking up that bad omen that I know that you do because I'm not dealing with you. I can personally escort you off the premises if that is what you would like, but I just moved here and listen, I'm not a fan. I I'm gonna take this up with the guys in town. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, hey, but buddy, pal. What's hey, hey. What's- no, 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 no. Hey, um, I don't know if you've noticed. You got some pretty insane neighbors. They are standing on top of my property that I kind of just, uh, started building on. And I really appreciate it if you just kind of like, I don't know, you're a weaponsmith. Do you know how to get rid of them? Yeah. Anything else? I don't know how much help that's going to be, frankly. Um, did you just interrupt me? Hey, you don't have that iron golem guy to protect you anymore. I would watch your mouth. That's what I thought. See? Just like I said before. Merciful. These guys are totally of not of any help. Oh my god, wait. I got rid of them. No chance, really? Dang! See, what did I say? What did I say? I am so good at this game. Since the distraction had been taken care of, I was now free to build poorly to my heart's desire.
Does that- that looks like garbage. That actually- that looks just a little bit- hey, that looks like garbage, Ryan. I made 50. I- <laughs> I must be brain dead because there is no other logical explanation for why I would just make 15 doors. I don't know if you guys knew, but that's about- that's about 13 too many doors. Bro, I got so many more doors than you. Oh, that made me think I should play the Roblox doors game. I'm going to do that after this. Oh my god. I'm going to play the Roblox doors game and it's going to be so good. I'm going to play... <laughs> I wanna play Roblox Doors. Guys, you wanna play Roblox with me? Oh, that's so funny. I need to stop eraping my audience. And it's raining. Is that rain that I- Oh, no. I- I'm having auditory hallucinations. Surprisingly enough, I wasn't actually having auditory hallucinations, so I genuinely have no idea what happened there. I want cooler doors. I want better doors. Like the Doors game, the Roblox Doors game. <laughs> Among Us. Okay, well, um, I think that that's where I'm gonna leave off for now. I'm gonna end the video staring at that atrocity. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really does feel good to be Mac making silly content, silly videos. Oh, it's so weird to hear the outside world again. If you enjoyed this video, please watch my other ones. I'll see you all next week. I promise. I'll see you next week with- there's like three options of what you're gonna see next week, and I'm not telling you, because I'm keeping you in suspense. Subscribe. Now. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe immediately or face punishment. My college is gonna watch this.